In this video, I'm going to talk about my worst crypto investment ever. It's actually so bad, it's quite embarrassing. And the reason I'm going to tell you about it is so you can protect yourself if you're going to make one of these investments or if you're thinking about making this investment in your cryptocurrency journey. So I'm going to tell you my story, but please understand this is extremely important so you can protect yourself, but there's also a lot of life lessons involved. So do me a favor real quick, pause this video, go to the kitchen, grab your favorite beverage, whether it's coffee, tea, cocoa, milk, alcohol, whatever. Then come back to your computer, put your feet up on the desk, lay back, relax, and let's talk about it. Now, most of you are going to think that my worst investment was actually in certain cryptocurrencies. It was not. But because I understand a lot of you are here to see which cryptocurrencies is my bad investment, I'm going to mention them in this video. So make sure you stick around. And boy, did I get wrecked on those cryptocurrencies. Yes, even I. But my worst investment I ever made in cryptocurrency is buying a Bitcoin ATM. Not only did it cost me and my partner over 35,000 euros, the ongoing costs were ridiculous. And yes, it's not the most money I ever lost in my life, but it was the most, how can I put this, tiring, time consuming, and just negative investment I ever made in cryptocurrency. So how did I come up with this Muppetry? Well, last year, right before the bear market, even though we were expecting a bear market, I decided to invest some of my profits into different businesses. And one of them was a Bitcoin ATM. So I called a company to get it arranged and they told me that they don't rent out or sell uh, ATMs anymore, but what they do is a franchise system. And the deal was you would buy the ATM, pay them for the franchise, they cover support and the cryptocurrencies, and then they get a commission and you get a commission. Now, not only was the commission lower than I expected, but they were getting the same commission as me, 50-50. But for something that cost over $30,000 or euros, as a matter of fact, that was a bit ridiculous, but I was excited about it and I decided to go ahead with the deal. Now, I did want to kick, meaning I did want to cancel this at some point by my partner. He was very bullish on it. So we decided to go ahead anyway, especially since we found a place to put it, which was supposedly a great location. Santorini Island, where all the tourists and all the people make money, millions, millions of money each season, summer, which was coming up, but also right in the heart where everybody, everybody passes by. And I thought that was good. My partner thought that was good. It was not. See, most people don't want to buy Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies when everybody's looking at them on a busy street. But even if they did, they just weren't. Was it the bear market because the cryptocurrencies were going down? Maybe, but they just weren't buying any crypto, like very little. Plus the person we had there, the owner, which was supposed to take care and explain how to do it to them, how to use the machine, really didn't. And the machine was a lot harder than what I thought. First of all, there was an extra step of KYC, which I wasn't aware of, and it was mentioned nowhere. So it wasn't performing as well as it could. Now, the Bitcoin ATM by itself didn't really wasn't that visible. Even though it was next to a busy street, we felt that it wasn't visible enough. So we actually built a case for it, which was weatherproof to, to you know, protect it, but also to be able to draw eyeballs with lights, with Bitcoin and different cryptocurrencies. Since it was called a Bitcoin ATM, we wanted to show people they could get different types of cryptocurrencies on there. And we went through it. We had to have a camera, of course, so that us and the franchisees can see what's happening or vice versa, which meant we had to have internet. Now, also to be able to be uh, legal with this for taxes and so on, we opened up a company, which was more more money and of course accounting was more money every month and so on. Needless to say, the ATM did not make any profits, very little. We did have somebody buy 3,000, somebody buy 2,000, but with our percentage, that was like 150, 200 euros. It was nothing compared to our costs and nothing compared to our monthly expenses. So then after we lost this money and after we lost our time and after all the aggravation and arguments we had because we had different frictions with the actual franchise, with the people that gave us the ATM, 
we decided to drop get out and guess what the deal was because i only paid half of my share at least as far as the bitcoin atm went i only gave seven thousand and i owed another seven thousand now the reason i didn't give the other seven thousand is i got cancer again i went to hospital i was in hospital for 40 days it's a long story but essentially since we didn't pay off the bitcoin atm and the franchise they pretty much get everything back. Now I'm currently trying to negotiate this, but basically we've lost 35,000 because it was also the cost with the booth. And of course there was tickets going back and forth to Santa Rina we didn't think of, the hotels were expensive, we didn't think of this and so on. So it was pretty much a catastrophe. But here's the reasoning I'm getting out. Picture this, if the Bitcoin ATM does not work in a bear market when Bitcoin is low, and will only work in a bull market when Bitcoin's going up, why not hold the Bitcoin? It's, it was at 17,000 when I decided to drop out the deal. And if Bitcoin goes up, it should re at least reach its all time highs and surpass it. That's a four five X. That's your money back with $3,000. Because picture this, if Bitcoin doesn't go up and the ATM doesn't work in a bear market, I would rather hold the Bitcoin. And if the ATM works in the bull market, why not just hold Bitcoin? Because the profits from Bitcoin will outweigh the profits from the ATM. Even if you 10x the ATM, 20x the ATM, the profit margin is so low, it's easier just to hold Bitcoin. So the question is, why not lose the Bitcoin ATM and the money we gave and that $7,000 or euros split with my partner and just put it into Bitcoin so we can make our money back? But what cryptocurrencies were my worst investment ever? Well, I'll tell you a couple off of my head. One was Radium, but the funny thing about Radium, it's not that I lost money from the actual cryptocurrency. See, I actually made a video about this last year. I actually saw that the team of Radium, the customer service, if you will, or, or the community manager or community managers weren't very helpful at all when I had a problem with my Radium vanishing. Yes, literally vanish along with my stablecoin. And once I saw they were really bad at doing this and answering and getting things across, I decided to leave Radium, which was just as well because Radium dropped after quite a bit. The problem is I put my Radium into Luna. And even though Luna went up and I made a lot of profits, I didn't really take my profits. And that was one of my worst investments. Now, my second worst investment was actually when Luna was dropping down, I decided to buy the dip from FOMO. That's why I'm always telling you, beware of FOMO. I thought it was gonna be a good trade. Sure, it was a long shot, and if it went up, it would have been great, but it didn't. So me that always preaches don't FOMO and be careful. And I saw the actual drop. I mean, I, I wouldn't get into it normally. I got greedy. And there's a saying in trading, bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. I was a pig, meaning I got greedy. Then there was the cryptocurrency refinable, which was supposed to have some famous YouTuber in it. I think it was Mr. Beast. I'm not sure, but there was Refinable, which I actually got in on a dip, but that didn't do well at all. Then there was C3, which I confused with CWAP, which doesn't really matter because they both went to shit. And finally, Star Atlas, which was very promising, and I did take profits, but the rest of my money just zapped away. So those are my worst crypto investments I ever made. But what were your worst crypto investments? Please comment down below. I would love to know and a lot of people will benefit for not making the same mistake. Also, if you want to see my 25 tips for first time crypto investors, make sure you check this video out. It's also great for intermediates or watch this video recommended by YouTube instead. Subscribe. See you in the next video.